What is going on, everybody? The NFL kickoff is about two days away as of this recording, and I could not be any more excited for that, and also just super excited to bring my picks back. Last year was such a great ride. For the second year in a row, we had a great record here. Uh, at worst competitive with all of the you know offerings out there where people pay for weekly picks i mean last year we were almost two to one in terms of overall picks we were positive in terms of picking upsets as i had said going into the year if i could just go 500 picking underdogs you're gonna make money on the year and then against the spread 84 and 61 so last year was really a phenomenal year uh picking these games and this year i'm, I'm hoping for even better and this video here on YouTube is going to be rare. A uh, couple times throughout the year, maybe like week nine, week 16. But if you want these picks, I am going to be doing these as a Patreon exclusive this year. This is gonna be a sample of what you can get there on Patreon every week, just like this. Video is identical to this, just exclusive for the MVP patrons. So if you enjoy this and if you wanna take my gambling advice, of course, I have to say gamble responsibly, guys. Um, you know, it's legal in America now, but if you're gonna do this, do it responsibly and also, you know, hit up Gamblers Anonymous if you have gambling issues. I need to promote that here. Keep this as family friendly as possible, but this is also a very real thing that we gotta talk about here. Picking the games for week one, so we're gonna get into it. I need to do a quick description of the format this year. So uh, last year I did I ranked these in terms of confidence. This year I'm going to rank these in terms of games that I would not bet on, which are going to be the white coloring for the scores, the, the, the games that I would say just bet the money line on, and then games that I'm super confident I would say bet the spread on. So that's just going to be kind of how we list these. I'll still be doing my underdogs, and then I will also say games that I have confidence in any sort of over or under. Uh, so a new format this year, I think it's going to offer a little more um, guided advice in terms of like what kind of games I'll be betting for that week. Uh, and then at the end of the video, I will go through my favorite bets for the week. So here we go. Green Bay at Chicago, the Thursday night opener. I'll be at this game. Uh, another quick plug, you can follow my Instagram, Whitman underscore Marcus, follow my journey, a little vlog up to the game. Uh, but yeah, this game is going to be an absolute battle. Uh, Vegas is saying these two teams are evenly matched. They give the home team three points, uh, and this thing is going to be an epic fight. The over-under is like 46 points. I think it is going to be, just like a lot of these Packers-Bears games are, a little more low-scoring um, I am, at the end of the day, going to take the home team here, the Chicago Bears, but I don't have a whole lot of confidence in this. I think it's a pretty much a coin toss of a game if Green Bay pulled the upset. Really would not surprise me. I think if you were to bet on this game, I actually think Green Bay on the money line is going to be the, the better bet there. I just think a primetime game, uh, you can get the better quarterback getting points. That's usually something you would suggest to do. Uh, that Chicago crowd is going to be nuts. It's going to be a hell of a game. Uh, but as far as betting this one, it's always tempting to bet that first game of the year, um, but probably one that I would say stay away from. Then we've got Atlanta at Minnesota. Uh, now, Atlanta always plays better indoors, but Minnesota in the home opener, I always applaud that home field advantage as being one of the best in the league. They've got a lot of hype there in Minnesota. I actually feel pretty good about the Vikings finding a way to win this game. I think that defense kind of storms back a little bit. Also, it's uh, while Atlanta does get to play indoors, which is a big advantage for them, they also don't really have the pass rush to disrupt the Vikings. And the Vikings, really, their only weakness is that offensive line. I think they will struggle a lot against teams that have good pass rushers. Fortunately for Minnesota in this one, Atlanta does not. So we, we probably will see Kirk Cousins, Adam Thielen, and Stephon Diggs able to get things going pretty easily. And as long as they can score on offense, you know they're going to play good defense at home. So I like Minnesota to win this one. Then we've got Baltimore at Miami. Not going to spend a whole lot of time on this one. Miami's just a train wreck. I don't know if we're ever going to pick them to win this year um, on a week-to-week -week basis. So I think Baltimore will find a way to win. I don't know if the seven points is justified here. I would say just a money line situation. You know, I don't think Baltimore is seven points better than anyone, uh, especially on the road. So I do think Baltimore finds a way to win. 
but in kind of a scrappy manner. I don't know if they're going to cover those seven points. Buffalo at the New York Jets. This is going to be one of the games of the weekend, just two of the more intriguing teams in general for the year. Uh, and they're saying that just like the Chicago Green Bay game, these two teams are incredibly even. They're giving the home team three points here. And that sounds about right. I do think the Jets in their home opener are going to find a way to win this one, but really could go either way. Uh, but I am confident enough to say that the Jets on the money line should be able to pull that one out. Uh, the Chiefs at the Jaguars, only a four point spread here for the Chiefs. I just, to me, I just can't picture A, this defense keeping this offense of the Chiefs down enough to B, have Nick Foles keep up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that at the end of the day, no matter how good your defense is, when Nick Foles is your quarterback, you're not going to be able to keep pace uh, with. Uh, Patrick Holmes and you know you can say Nick Foles is Super Bowl Nick Foles it's, it's just not going to happen that was a very rare situation when you look at the rest of Nick Foles game tape and career anyway the Rams at the Carolina Panthers this is my first upset pick of the uh, week here and I, I'm not like absurdly confident in this but it's a home opener for Carolina and the Rams are a team that have a lot of changes from last year. Carolina is going to have the better quarterback in this game at home as an underdog. I just, I like that situation. And also just, you know, Carolina does have a pretty good defense. So I, I, I do think this will be a, a lower scoring game. I don't think either of these teams are really going to light up the scoreboard. Uh, but I will take the Panthers in a low scoring, close contested upset here, 23 to 21. Now I've got the Tennessee Titans at the Cleveland Browns. Just this one's pretty easy for me. Uh, this is probably one that I'm the most confident in. You know, the Titans kind of a lackluster team going on the road here. I don't know if lackluster is the right word there, but they kind of are who they are. Cleveland, so much hype. The crowd here is going to be electric. This team does not want to come out and disappoint. I think that they are really going to come out, look explosive on offense, and really fire off the ball. Uh, Taylor Lewan is out in this game. Definitely kind of sets this thing over the edge. This is probably one of my better bets of the week here. Uh, and we'll, we'll definitely talk about this in my favorite bets of the week, uh, wrapping up the video here. But I like Cleveland to cover in this game at home, 30-21. to 21. Washington at Philly. It's, it's pretty easy. I mean, Philly's just so much better. They're at home. They're nine and a half point favorites, and I actually think they cover 33 to 17. Cincinnati at Seattle, terrible matchup for the Bengals. I mean, just opening up the season in Seattle for a team that's already had a rough off season. This, this season just could not really have been off to a worse start for the Bengals. I think Seattle, I don't know how much Jadavian Clowney is going to play, but I think they're going to have a little extra excitement uh, just getting that guy in the building. I think Seattle really rolls in this one and, and has a lot of buzz coming off of week one. I, I got 35-9 to nine Seattle in this one. Indianapolis at the Chargers. This will be an interesting game. You know, I, I think the Chargers, you've got to be careful anytime they have like a seven-point spread like this because this is a team that historically finds ways to keep games close, whether they're trailing or whether they're leading. You know, they could be up 14 scores and Phillip Rivers will throw like a pick six. That's just kind of what they do. Or they'll miss three kicks or they'll fumble. Like, they just kind of do it consistently. I never really trust the Chargers on a seven-point spread, and I like the Chargers. I do think they win this game, but we've also talked about how Indianapolis is a very scrappy team. So I, I got 26 to 24. I'll take the Chargers in the win, um, but not the cover. Detroit at Arizona, not a whole lot of takes on this one. I'm super excited to watch Kyler Murray, um, but you've got a super exciting quarterback with kind of a flat team around him going up against a steady but unexciting Detroit Lions team. I think the Lions just in general just have so much more overall talent and cohesiveness that they will be able to go on the road. They're actually two and a half point road favorites. So Vegas pretty low on Arizona to start the year. I am going to say Detroit wins this 20 to 14. I would not bet on this one uh, in terms of who wins the game because I can see a scenario due to kind of a lack of an explosive pass rush from Detroit outside of just Trey Flowers. Um, uh, due to that, I do think Kyler Murray will be able to make some plays in this game. So I, I do see a scenario where Arizona pulls this one out, maybe 21 to 20. Um, but I do actually really like the under in this game. I didn't actually look what it is. I assumed it was somewhere in the 40 to 46 range as most low scoring matchups are. But I do think under 40 points 
is actually pretty safe, and I'm sure that the under is like 42 to 44, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, so then we got the Giants at the Cowboys, pretty similar to the Redskins at the, the Eagles. Like just the, the Eagles and Cowboys are just miles better than the next guys in their division. So I, I think that Dallas with or without Zeke Elliott, which it's shaping up like he may actually get, get this deal done, which would definitely put this thing over. But even without Zeke, I, I don't see the Giants competing at all uh, in Dallas, who has got a lot of hype. So I'm taking Dallas on the spread 30 to 13. I'm so glad that this is not like the Sunday night game because it's not going to be a good football game. San Francisco at Tampa Bay. This is going to be one of the most entertaining games of the week. I'm super excited to watch Jimmy Garoppolo in this game because we saw a little bit of him in the preseason not look very good. Well, that was against Bradley Chubb and uh, Von Miller. And this time in the regular season opener, he's going against quite possibly the worst pass defense in the NFL, if not the worst, the second worst behind Oakland. So I think San Francisco is going to go in and light the scoreboard up. I think Tampa Bay is going to have a fun time passing the ball in the San Francisco secondary as well. So I expect a very high scoring game. The over under actually only 50 points, which is high for an NFL game, but not super high. I think this is going to be an absolute shootout. I've got 33 to 27. Uh, San Francisco. I like San Francisco to win this game, and I like the over for this game. This is going to be one of my favorite games to bet this weekend. Pittsburgh at New England. Now, I've talked countlessly about New England having a slower start. They're out there center. Their wide receiver situation is questionable, and I like how Pittsburgh matches up with this Patriots team. You know, we've seen this with other big kind of rivalries like this where teams just kind of can't get over a certain team and they really build their team to beat that specific team that's kind of what i see in pittsburgh right now because they have a stellar run defense their front seven is is at the top especially in terms of their ability to stop the run and new england is really predicating on running the ball right now and also i just you know pittsburgh's corners aren't that great but neither are new england's receivers so I do think that Pittsburgh is going to go punch for punch with New England in this one, uh, and just a team that is never as good in the first month of the season as they are as the season goes on. I like Pittsburgh to win this game, so I, I'm going to take the upset there. And then we got Houston at New England. Uh, sorry, Houston at New Orleans. New Orleans getting seven points. It is a lot because I mean Houston's a good football team. I, I, their organization's a little bit of a slop show right now, but I do think that's too many points. New Orleans should find a way to win this one at home, but I mean, I'm not super confident in that. Like, there, I can totally see a scenario where Deshaun Watson makes a ton of plays and uh, they can't contain uh, DeAndre Hopkins and JJ Watt goes nuts. Like, Houston can really beat anyone because they do have a lot of star talent, but you know I just think New Orleans overall better team should be able to find a way to win this one at home uh, in the home opener nonetheless. And then Denver at Oakland was absolutely stunned to see this being a pick 'em game. I think the hype on Oakland in the first month of the season is going to be one of the most profitable ventures uh, for sports gamblers out there. If I can get this defense against that offensive line that basically just added Trent Brown, like it's not a good offensive line. I don't see a world where Oakland wins this game. This is one of my favorite bets uh, of the week. Uh, so speaking of favorite bets, let's go through, kind of highlight some of the bets that I like, the ones I might be making. I always like to do a big parlay um, of some of the, the more confident money lines that I that I like. So I, I think Minnesota on a money line, not necessarily the spread, but I think on the money line, I like Minnesota to win that game uh, at home against Atlanta. Kansas City, I think whether you take them on the money line or on the spread, I like them to, to go in and take care of business in Jacksonville. It's not going to be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination, but I, I just feel pretty confident that Kansas City is going to be ready to go early in the year. And then Tennessee at Cleveland, that's a lock for me for Cleveland to at least win that game. And I don't even mind taking the six points like I think Cleveland's going to really dominate in that matchup. Maybe Tennessee has a fourth quarter touchdown to keep it a little closer. But uh, yeah, I like Cleveland that game. Seattle, I don't see a world where they lose to Cincinnati in the opener. They're pretty much better in every respect. And they're at home with one of the best home field advantages in the league. Detroit at Arizona. I like the under in this game, but again, would not bet any kind of winner in that game. New York Giants at uh, Dallas. Dallas is going to win that game. Uh, Stay away from the spread, maybe. I don't know. I would still probably take the spread. 
San Francisco at Tampa Bay. Again, I like the over in this game, and I like San Francisco to win this game. And then Denver at Oakland. Denver to win that game in a pick em game. I just can't believe the hype on Oakland. And Denver, I think, is being slept on a little bit. So there's just a lot of value to be had in that game, uh, which is rare. You know, I don't always have a lot of takes on Monday night games, but that should be uh, a good one to bet on. So those are the weekly picks. Again, guys, gamble responsibly if you are gambling do it legally all that stuff um, but also if you want these picks week to week i'm not gonna have a video like this on youtube until probably week nine or ten so if you want this video every week head over to my patreon make sure you check that out please hit that like button on the video i appreciate you all as always enjoy the first week of football it's like a, a full day of Christmas. Like it's my favorite day of the year, I think is the NFL opener. So I'm so pumped. Thank you guys. Cheers. And we'll see you next week. Peace.